Cool. Okay, so this is the third discusses. So far, we discussed the Jontron situation, which is kind of linked to games. Yeah. And then we actually discussed our filming experience with our first actor, linked to film. This isn't linked to either of those. This is a rant. Yeah. And this is a rant about a lettings agency in Sheffield. Excellent. Yeah. They're called Blower & Co. They're, they're a private. You can find them somewhere on Abbeydale Road, Sheffield, if, if you're interested. But hopefully after all this, you won't be. So this is completely personal rant that no one needs to give a shit about. Okay. Right. So my girlfriend Sarah, she's done some of our games for each other. It's the Vagina Edition. So you can, you can watch them if you want to. Uh, we're looking for a place. I currently have moved back to my mum and dad's and it's as fun as moving back to your mum and dad's is and I yeah. want, she's got a great new job and we're pulling in enough money now that we can actually get our own place. We're going to rent for a year and then if it works, we're going to get a mortgage and if it doesn't work, then I'll probably cry a lot. But you know, that's that's the situation we're in and one of my brothers has got a house with Blur and Co and apparently they really looked after him, really looked after him, he was really impressed with him. So we decided to, to go to them first and see what they did. And you get to the place and there's all these really nice property listings on the windows and stuff. And we went through the door. And straight away, it was like like we had entered a church in the middle of a wedding. You know that point in a wedding where people say, if anyone has a problem, why these two shouldn't be wed? It was like that. Like everything seemed to freeze. And they just sort of looked at us. Yeah. And I was... Dressed quite alright at the time, I'd shaved my beard, I looked quite smart, and Sarah always looks kind of smart. And they just looked at us, and we looked at them, and there was a pause before anyone said anything. And then I went, yeah, we're looking for a place to rent. And right, what, what's your range? So we listed our price range, oh, there aren't many in that property, oh, there's only this one. Pulled out this print-off sheet from a whole list of sheets and showed us one place. Um, didn't ask how much we were on or anything like that. Just asked us the price range we were kind of looking for. And went, oh, it's it's sort of a one bedroom, but there's this room and you could convert this room if you wanted to. And it, it could be a living room or it could be another bedroom. And then I went, all right, okay, cool. And he goes, and that's really the only one in this area. And we're like, do you not, are there not any more? And they were like, not in your range, your range. They hadn't even asked us what we were earning or anything like that just instantly they had decided it was our range. And then we were like, um, okay, um, are there, are you sure there aren't any more? And they go, no, they come and they go really quickly. So right, have you got a kind of waiting list or anything you could put a name on and just contact us if anything comes up? No, we don't do that. It's like, really? Because you did that for my brother, I think. It's like, no, we don't do that. It's like, right, okay. And then it was just the look again. And it was like, like they couldn't push us to the door quick enough. And they started saying, you know, those kind of passive aggressive, like non things like, yeah, that's really it. There's not really much. It's not a really good time. Da 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 da. To the point where was like, oh, okay, I can see how this is going. We just left. And it was like five minutes at most, the entire thing. And it was like, if you go on their website, yeah. They advertise that they will sit down and talk to you and that they're local people who know the area and they really take care of you. And they if they didn't even ask, but if they'd asked, we would tell them we were looking to rent for a year and then get a mortgage and they'd be getting a fair bit out of us and we could afford it because like I said, Sarah's got a great job. I don't have a great job, but even as we stay steady, it's still a good amount that we pull in together and if film takes off bigger than it is. So like those fuckers just didn't give a shit. It was like instantaneous. And then I got in touch with my brother, like, yeah, you said they were really good, but they were really crap. And he goes, oh no, they've been crap with me. And it turns out like they were really nice when he, he first went with them. And then they started giving him all these shitty jobs that weren't in his lease that he was supposed to do. And he had a cat. And they said, oh, you're not allowed a cat. He was like, but I told you I had a cat. And you said it was fine. No, we didn't. Check your paperwork. Oh no, yeah, we did. We did. They're called Blore and Co. And they are, they were awful. What, when they asked what your range was, what did you say? Out of interest. The amount? Yeah. We said ideally between four and six hundred. Which is pretty much in this area. At the top of that, you can probably get a three bedroom house. Yeah. 
Like, oh, yeah. That's not a low range in this area. The irony of the thing is they have listings on a website that shows other houses in the area in that range. Like, they just proper didn't give a crap or try with us at all. Um, so, Blur & Co. That's Blur & Co. Can I get away with putting the label in, the logo, in this video, do you think? Um, you could probably put a link to their website because, you know, it's, we're talking about them. Here's a link to their website. Yeah. So, so avoid them. Blur and cow. Avoid yeah. blur and cow. HFP discusses blur and cow. Over.